let's go to NASA scientist Alex Young, who is joining us again to talk more about this comment. And you like that joke, too, I can tell. Um, you know, I feel like this is the first big comment since Haley's comment, which was way, way back. What will we see as this comet passes by us? Well, you know, once it gets really close to the sun and we will be able to look at it with our whole fleet of solar telescopes, in particular the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Now we've seen two comets get this close to the sun before. We've seen one make it around, but this one is about 10 times bigger. And that gives us a strong indication that it's going to make it. But it's also going to be in a different location, allowing us to see new things. It's going to be traveling through the magnetic field of the sun, kind of wiggling. And when we see it move through, we can kind of probe the solar atmosphere. And this is a location that we normally couldn't do this with the kinds of instrumentation we have. It's very, very difficult otherwise. Could, Alex, is this something that our viewers could see with the naked eye if it was clear skies? And if so, when would they be able to look? Or do they need their own home telescopes? Well, hopefully, if it makes it intact and it has a good chance of doing that, as soon, after it gets past the sun, starting in about December 1st, we're going to see it in the early morning sky very low. And it's going to progressively get higher and higher. And we'll also be able to see it back into the, the evening time. By the time it gets to about December 17th, it's going to be up fairly high. We'll be able to see it at night somewhere around the Big Dipper. OK. And that, that animation makes it look like a shuttlecock, you know, if, when you're uh, playing badminton. What exactly are we going to see? Are we going to see colors? Are we going to see that big streak in the tail? What are we going to actually see? Well, unfortunately, a lot of these fantastic images that we've seen with all that really amazing structure and the color, those are done with telescopes. They're done with uh, long exposures, multiple exposures. So in this case, we're not going to see a lot of that with the naked eye. You may start to get a hint of it with binoculars, but really, you need telescopes to see all that really cool structure. OK. We like you. You're really cool.